Wow, 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 guys, the way God overwhelms me with his love. Like I would needed to come to Miami, you know, I had some urgent stuff I needed to attend to. And so, believe it or not, my agent in Nigeria, she could not find a flight that will bring me to Miami. She could only get me a flight to New York. And guess what? That's where my daughters are. So I was able to go and see them. So. One, the first morning I get there, Julie didn't have milk. And I'm such a spoiled brat. I'm like, Julie, I gotta have milk. I gotta have milk in my coffee. I gotta have milk. So she ended up taking me, of all places, to the Tom's Diner, guys. This is the diner from Seinfeld. You guys know the Seinfeld. Seinfeld is like my favorite show of all time, guys. And so she took me there to the Tom's Diner for coffee. And so this shirt she got for me, guys, I don't even wear the shirt. I said, I'm just keeping this as a reminder that me and my daughter were here. We were in this diner having an important conversation, guys, about how we can make the greatest impact to work along with God to make the greatest impact on the world. So I said, I'm not even wearing the shirt. This shirt means so much to me. And so the the scene in this diner from the Seinfeld episode two has meant a lot to me because it's an episode where the girlfriend was breaking up with him and he just said, oh, no problem. Said everything <laughs> works out for me. Said, it's fine, I'll find somebody else. And the girl was like in shock, like I'm leaving you and this is your reaction. And believe it or not, that was God talking to me. Say, Nick, this is how I need you to be. Because I tell you guys, I'm like this fretful wife, always worried, oh, what if my husband needs me? God say, Nick, this is the attitude I want you to have. Even if he lived you, you got me. <laughs> and so on Saturday, I went out with my sister, Melba. Can you believe that very scene was something that God used to speak to her? Yeah, she was having a situation and God was just telling her, look, Whatever way it goes, everything evens out for you. And that was her thing to just say, okay, whatever happens, I'm okay with it. So how is it that my little baby sister and me can watch this scene from Seinfeld in this diner that my daughter took me to, right? It was just God overwhelming us with his presence to say, I'm with you guys, because this this thing, this, this restaurant, the diner, was only like a five minute walk from where Julie and Amber got the apartment to stay together for the summer. And you know, I told you guys, I told you, I told you, I told you, <laughs> like God loves me so much that he's not only at work in my life, he's like concerned about every aspect of my life, even my children, you hear me? He was the one to arrange for them to get to this apartment because it was just, they were hard, having a hard time finding a B&B. &B. And Julie told me about her friend that was leaving for the summer. I said, Julie, just ask. Ask them if you can stay in the apartment. And can you believe they allowed her to stay just so I can come, the flight, attend, the flight agent can say, look, I can't find you any tickets to Miami. I can only find you to New York just so I can get there, sit down with my daughter and have a conversation with her. Everything that's a concern for me, guys, is a concern for God. You hear me? That's the love he shows me. Because honestly, that was a difficult conversation for me and Jules because I needed to have a little real talk with her that we're on this mission from God. So she's working right now, but she's working in a coffee shop. And I'm like, no, 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 shooty, shooty, shooty. That wasn't our agreement. Like she promised me that she was going to be looking for internships on Wall Street. She said, mommy, this university is close to the United Nations. I'm going to look for an internship there. So now she's working in a coffee shop. And I say, no, 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 no. <laughs> How are we going to make the greatest impact for God in the world is what I had to sit down and talk to her. And it ain't working at no coffee shop. Mama, don't play that. I said, Julie, you know the sacrifice your dad and I have made? Like, we've made this huge sacrifice, splitting our family into two. So please, I need a better internship, and I'm on her case. Every time we talk, we, we, she's fighting with me. But the same way that I correct my boo-boo is the same way God corrects me. You say, Nick, 
Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, Nick, I don't want you fretting over this husband. If he leave you, you're going to be fine. Even up to yesterday, he was talking to me through this post because I was running back from, from my country and the song from Boomer Boy was playing. He said, it's your time, you know? It's your time because it's your mind. So I got home having an appointment with God on Tumblr and this lady wrote a post and she said, yes, it is your time. You know, and it was just God, right? So this morning I go back to the tree. I had to read that blog post again because I just felt the whole message was for me because then she said, you're the diamond. Yeah, God is putting a lot of pressure on me right now only because you're the diamond and for the best of the diamond to come out, you have to get crushed. And that's what God is doing to me right now. That's what he does to all of us. He puts pressure on us to help us become who he's calling us to be. So as I'm, after reading that, I stayed on the Tumblr, I said, God, I just use this thing and I just scroll like this to say, what message you have for me? Can you believe that very post came up for me, just having some fun with the post and, and quoting that Boomer Boys thing, it's your time, it's your time. You know, and it was just God saying, yes, Nick, it is your time. And I took that as my high fry from him, God. I said, my God is with me wherever I go. So I want you guys here with me experiencing all this overwhelming love. How has Julie Rose gotten that apartment? Minutes, a little few minute walk, blocks away from where they've taped so many episodes. The setting was in this particular restaurant for God to say, no, Nick, don't go to Miami. I need you to stop first, have a little conversation with Julie. Let's get her back on the right path again. <sighs> Amazing. The love I've received from God. I don't want you guys to miss that. May God the partner of your life. Say, God, I just want to be with you. I want to be with you. Like my brother Kevin say, Nick, God wants you to know you're secure in him. Don't be no fretting person, fretting over anybody. If anybody don't want to be with you, that's fine. You leave them. You my girl. My favorite girl at that. That's how he makes me feel, God. So don't miss out. The best life. May God go into him every second, every moment. God, what is it you have to say to me? Making him your partner, waking up every day, having your appointments with him. I run to my tree, no shame, I need God every day. He's the foundation of my life. So I suggest you do the same, guys. Don't miss out on all this overwhelming love from Papa Bear, Papa God. Peace. <laughs>